All my life, you have been faithful. All my life, you have been faithful. Good morning, everybody. Superstars, good morning. This is Inner Good here. I'm so happy and grateful that we are here this morning. Today is the 28th day of December, 2022. He has been leading us from January till December. I am so happy and grateful that we are here today thanking him, appreciating him. It is not of him that will it or him that run it. It is of the Lord that showeth mercy. It is because of his mercy that we are not consumed. God has been faithful. He has been faithful all through the God that we serve. He's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. He's worthy to be praised. Thank him and appreciate him today. We have a series in our hand. Very important lesson that every one of us need. Today, we are, I'm going to take you to a journey. Today, tomorrow, next tomorrow is a time that you should not miss. And I know fully well that you are available. We are on this call this morning with your Miro and paper. Because what I'm about to unveil to you will blow your mind. But at the end of the day, you will fix it and fix it well for you to start it, you know, going to getting that abundance that you desire, going through that which you have been looking for. God has made us to have whatever we want, whatever we desire. He has given us what it takes to get it. We have to go. I want to make sure that everyone that comes to this call, you mute yourself because I am... I am recording this because it's important. And I want you to have that opportunity to go through it again. But that does not mean that you will not concentrate properly on what I'm about to show you today. I want you to focus more on things that matters throughout this year. 
What is it that matters? Abundance. You have the power to attract poverty or riches in your life. Let me tell you the truth. Poverty is a gentleman. Most people focus more on what they don't want, and that is scarcity. Poverty is a gentleman that relaxes in one other side. Maybe one compound is just there relaxing. Some people woke up in the morning. They will say, poverty, I bind you. I bind you. I do this in your morning devotion. You are binding for but Poverty will just woke up from that place, that compound. I said, ah, who is calling me this early morning? Who is disturbing me? And he'll be asking you, ah, why are you disturbing me? Why are you disturbing me where I'm just chilling? You have the power to attract abundance or scarcity into your life. Because whatever you focus on expands. So please don't focus on anything scarcity. I've told us many times that nothing is expensive. It depends on who is paying. What you think is expensive is not expensive to another person. So nothing in life is expensive. It depends on who is paying. They say the poor must be among you. Don't be the poor. Be the rich now that will help the poor. They say all fingers are not equal. Must you be the smallest finger? Be the big finger now. You have the power to either to attract abundance or to attract scarcity. Whatever you expose this to, your mind is what it will print out for you. I want you to know that your brain is a creator of repetitions. The things you are repeating, because I'm going to show you something that will shock you. Mysteries. And you are going to see what has helped me over the years. But I want you to know that everything starts in the mind. Because until you correct the thought that lead you to the lifestyle that you are living right now, you will continue to get the same result, no matter what I will show you. Until, I want you to write it down, until you correct the thought that lead you to the lifestyle you are living now, you will continue to get the same result that you've been getting. We want to change the result. We want to change the result. And I want you to help me. Let's change this result. Leave scarcity alone. Let's focus on abundance. Nothing is expensive. It depends on who is paying. Let us sink in. Our fingers are not equal. You must not be the small one. Yes, it's true. Our fingers are not equal. But must I be the small one? No, I don't. Like that, that means there's a big finger, right? That's the one I am. So you need to make sure that you consciously live on this. And I want you to know that the quality of the raw material is what determines the outcome of the finished product. Please, as we continue to do what we meant to do this year in order to make 2023 a better year for us. I don't want you to take this for granted. Many are still in the holiday mood. They still want to relax. But you are here in order to learn. Therefore, I want you to concentrate. I want you to put all your thoughts to it. Let's forget about all this scarcity thought. There is nothing like it. Because the power has been given to us 
And all you have to do, I know some have weak faith, some have, you know, strong faith. So you have to strengthen your faith right now. You have to expand your mind. And then you have to improve your skills so that we can get to whatever we are going to do. Now I'm going to tell you, what we are going to do is going to stretch you. It's going to challenge you. You are going to do things different. And that's what is going to, that is good. That is the good part of it. Because whatever you do that does not challenge your purpose, that does not improve your skills and demand your intellect, is not worth engaging. For me, anything I want to do that does not in any way challenge my purpose, in, make me to improve my skills, and demand my intellect is not worth doing. I like stressing my brain. I like working. I like making sure I use my brain to make things work. That is what will build you up, not any other thing. You have to make sure that anything you do will challenge your purpose. It will make you to improve your skills. It will also make you to, you know, to check out your intellect. Challenge your intellect. Make sure that you engage your intellect. It's not something that's worth engaging. So therefore, we want to go to the point of today. What are we here for today? Goal setting. Now, before I go into goal setting, I want you to know that goals are more spiritual than physical. <laughs> Those are more spiritual than physical. The thing is, how do I mean? I want you to follow me. Don't miss me, please. Don't miss me. Now, goals are more spiritual than physical. When it comes to goals now, maybe goal setting, what many people have in mind is what they will have. The beginning of goal setting is about having what you have, right? And then the end of goal setting, what everybody knows, is what to have. <clears throat> but I want to tell you that when it comes to goal, having is the last thing that comes in goal setting. Well, wow. Uh, everybody, 95 to 99% of people who set goals are setting goals for what they will have. So the beginning of goal setting and the end of goal setting for people is all about what they will have. But I want to tell you today that having is the last thing that comes in goal setting. That's why I say goal setting is more spiritual than physical. <laughs> Listen, now, why did I say so? For everything you want to have, there must be something you do for you to have that. And for something you do, there must be somebody you become. Don't miss me. Don't get that. Get it. I say for anything you want to have, you must do something to have it. And for you to do something, for you to do something and have that, you, there's somebody you must become first. So you can't set goals until you understand this. But now, what I say is spiritual is because when it comes to goal setting, you must have a vision for your life. You must have a vision for your life. Do you know that there are many people that go through life, they don't have vision for their life? Okay, now, Every 
anybody that wants to set up a company or an establishment, they will say, what's the vision? What's the, you know, the mission? What's these objectives and all that? But many have not sat down to say, what's the vision of my life? And yet you want to set goals. What will propel you to make that goal a reality when you have no vision of your life? <laughs> Let me tell you, I want you to pay up attention. Um, I'm, I want to, I want to unlearn whatever, I want you to unlearn whatever you know about goal setting right now because I'm about to change it. I'm about to make you understand what goal is. We are going to go in depth now to understand fully and at the same time set goals. Within these three days, we'll set goals. Now, what I'm teaching you is not next gen. It's life. In your business, in your family, we have different kinds of goals. We are going to go into that. And I believe God that time will permit us to do that. And your internet will be well. I'm telling you, 2023 will be your best year ever. Because this series, I'm going to, you know, any second you miss, as I said yesterday, it may take you another six years of study to get it back. Because these are these are these are life proofs. I told, I've already heard about so many things about goals, but this changed it for me. That you must have a vision for your life for you to set goals. When I heard that vision is the primary requirement to set goals, say so what? And I'm telling you today, vision is the fundamental, it's a fundamental requirement. It's the primary requirement for setting goals. When I find out about this, I stop asking people, what's your goal? Because I now find out that if I do that, I will start a lesson. Because many what they call goals are just mere targets. It's not goal. Some people say, oh, my goal is that I want to buy a house. Hmm. This year, I have a goal of buying a car. These are targets. This is not goal. These are not goals. People, that's why I said, starting point of people when it comes to goal is what they will have. And the end point of it is what they will have. It's about having, but having is the last thing when it comes to goal. The reason is because you must understand that you need to have a vision for your life first. And then that vision is what will propel you to set goals for everything you are doing, for your next gen business, for your other businesses you are doing, for your life, for your work, every other thing. Do you really have a vision? for your life. That's what you know, need to know because 99, 95 to 95 percent of people don't really know what goals are because they don't have visions for their life and they have the wrong definition of goal. I told us the other day that life does not reward you according to your effort. It rewards you according to your definition. The definition you have, no, have about goals, about vision, is what changes it for you. Man, your brain will come alive. You want to get things done. Because even when we set the goals, there are challenges that will come. There are things that want to stop you. But your vision will not let you stop. <laughs> As I was just talking this, I can remember a lot of things. Sincerely, if you don't know what goals are, I don't think you really have one. 
And that is the reason why many have not achieved their goals because they don't even understand what it is. Every year, just like every January now, people will have what they call New Year resolution. Some call it go, some call it this and all that. But after January, February and all that, they've forgotten about it. What's my resolution? What's the goals? What have I said that I want to do? So, you know, they just go back to normal. And before you know it, again, it's December. January again, they start another one again. Oh, let's start again. I have another goal. You know, I have another new year. I will not be doing this again. I will not be doing that. Why you not stop these things is because there's no vision guiding your life. If you have a vision for your life, it will direct your steps. It will direct yourself. If you don't have a vision for your life, you can't have goals. Achievable goals. Let me you. You can't have achievable goals. If you don't have a vision for your life, there is no way you will have goals that you can achieve. It's not possible. I told us to be ready. Because I know today, this week, you are about to hear something. And that's why we decided to ask you, please, give us extra 30 minutes today. Let's go through this. Because if I don't lay the foundation, and then go straight to setting goals, show you how to set goals and all that. At the end of the day, it's not gonna work. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So this is the foundation. So you must know it. May, as I said before, many have targets they want to achieve, to reach, and they call it go. So if that is the case, that everyone need to have vision for their life before they can be able to set goals and follow it through. Is it not right that we we'll begin to first and foremost understand what is vision? What is vision? Now, I was talking to one of my, you know, person, one of my managers handling one of my business. And well, there's something we wanted to do to import, to arrange. And then we're looking at, just like everybody's planning for 2023. So we are planning for 2023 at the same time. So we're just looking at, okay, how do we go this time around? What do we need to do? How do we go? And we're looking at, planning for 2023. And I said, okay, you know what? What I have to do is that let's check our competitors too to see what they're doing. So now we can now know on what we need to do and what we don't need to do and what we are doing. Because there are new things, you know, there are new things that need to happen in 2023. 2023. And I said, you know what? I don't have competitors. We don't have any. What we have is those who complement us. Because you don't really, visionaries don't have competitors. You only have those who complement you. Because let me tell you, you can, cop, you can patent an idea, or you don't patent with a vision. And that's just the truth. You can copy an idea, but you can't copy the person's vision. Yes, visions of companies may be the same if it's truly born out of revelation. The weddings may be the same, but the, the thing that better that, you don't just create vision for your life just because you want to write something down, that this is where I'm going, this is who I am, this is my vision. This is my dreams, this is my purpose. The three of them are different things, but we're talking about vision today. You don't just create it. So I said, I don't have competitors because visionaries don't have competitors. So if you want to look, look for those who compliment us. 
As good as that may sound, but when you now begin to see the other person as a competitor, that means you don't have vision. Any other person that is doing what you're doing is just complimenting you. Where you're going is different because you have different vision. We may be going in the same direction, or maybe it may look like we're going in the same direction, but our visions are different. And that's how you need to understand it. Now, do you know that we have few visionaries in the world? That's why I tell you, in your life, when you find visionaries, stick with them. When you find one, stick with them. Such person becomes, because this thing is contagious. Befriend them, stick with them, stay with them. Don't compete. Because he's not seeing anybody as competitor. He's doing his thing. Those who don't have vision compete with people. The visions are not the, because you can copy the vision, the same thing word to word. If you tell you, if I tell you my visions, maybe visions of companies are always everywhere, right? On the internet, you can see their vision. But now you can copy the same and put it in your company as your vision. But you don't know the spirit that bet that vision. Forget it. It's just a mere word. It's just a mere word. So when you find a man with vision, be a friend to that person. Don't try to compete. Do you know that God in heaven only walk with visionaries. They lo he looks for, because he, he, you know, he's having a hard job out there because he's looking for visionaries to work with. Anytime he wants to work, he's working with a man with vision. He don't want, you know, to work with anybody. So when I start that lesson, telling that one of my managers that I don't have competitors, I have com those who compliment me. And I meant it. I was not just trying to, and I explained, I started a class to explain why I said so. And then he now said, wow. And I have been seeing it a different way. When you see people as competitors, when they do things, it gets you angry. And it's like, we are competing, I want to hold. That's the person I want to pass you there. We're trying to make sure that I so you know I surpass you in everything. And they are competing. We are going is no, be yourself. So if you are setting goals, when we start setting it now, you are not setting it to brag a dose, to show off or to do anything. You are setting up goals for you to, uh, to make sure that you complement your vision. So you need to have the vision. This is an in-depth lesson on how to get a vision out, but we are going to do a good job on that first before we go to the lesson, before we go to the vision, to the aspect of setting goals. So I want you to know that, so if vision is this important, that's why we need to know what is goal, what is vision. Why I said that, oh, this person, they are not my competitors. They, are my, they compliment me. And I meant it. Why? Because they don't have our vision. The vision of that company, they don't have it. Where we're going, they don't have it. What they are going, I don't know. I don't care where they're going. We may be doing the same thing, but we're going different directions. So why would somebody who have different vision with you go in, become your competitor? It doesn't work. And that vision was better by revelation, not that you pick a word somewhere and make it your vision. Are we following? What's the time, please? Are we following? That's what you need to understand. So, so don't try to do anything until you define it properly. Because if you define vision and understand what is vision right now, 
it's going to take us to now understand, okay, why we need to create goals that will complement this vision. And you need to know what you need to be doing right now. Anything you cannot define properly overwhelms you. Anything you want to do in life that you cannot define properly overwhelms you. Anything you can define, you know, in a statutory standpoint that you define that thing, you can modify it to suit you properly. Anything you can define, you understand we have functional definition and statutory definitions. You define something statutorily, you know it. Man, it's easy for you to go through. If you can follow me properly, man, 2023 will be our best year. We are going, we are not competing with each other. We are complementing each other. We want to make sure that everyone is good. That's the reason why I can give you my secret. But even if you don't have, you don't have my vision, you don't know what bettered my vision and why I'm doing what I'm doing. It doesn't matter. You do your thing. So I can say, that's why I tell people that any knowledge acquired without extended to another person is a stupid and wasted knowledge. Some people hold knowledge because they don't understand that we have different visions. And even some don't have any. So why are you thinking that you are competing with someone like that? <laughs> Have you wondered why we have billions of people on this earth? And I tell you that God find it hard to look for visionaries to work with. Now, you know, you need to understand that when you come in contact with this knowledge, naturally, naturally, you will give up the hard life. <laughs> when you come in contact with this knowledge that I'm sharing at this moment, you give up the hard life. The energy you exert in any task is a reflection of the knowledge you have about it. So many people who set goals next year. I have so much goal. I mean, go. At the end of the day, nothing is going to happen. Now, let me tell you one thing. If you don't get what I'm saying today, forget it. It's a matter of time. Forget it. But I know that I'm talking to billionaires here. I'm talking to world changers here. You are going to have a vision for your life. And it's going to take things to the next level. Because the beginning point to a great life is vision. If you don't have it, forget it. So the question is, what is vision? If I decide to ask you right now for us to type, based on vision is what we know already. Please, can you just type, or maybe you, you raise your hand and unmute yourself and tell me what you understand by vision. I just want to hear one, one or two person. What do you under, or you type it. What do you understand by vision? Because I said everything, we need to define it properly in the statutory standpoint, not the functional definition standpoint. Is there anybody who can raise their hand to tell us about what you know about vision? Purples in pictures. Wow, okay, it's good. Purples in pictures. Wow, to keep all, thank you very much for that. Purples in pictures. Now, because of our time, what is vision? Now, look at this definition. Vision is what you are now by reason of what you see. <laughs> you know, vision is what you are now by reason of what you see. If you ask a lot of people, they say, what's vision? They are talking about what they will be in future, what they will be in future. If you are, even if you have an 80 year old man, what is vision? They say, what will be in future? When would that future be? 
vision is what you are now by reason of what you see. Let me make that easy for you now. Now, let me, how will I, let me find a way to, okay, let me illustrate it now. If we're in a class now, I would have illustrated for us. Now, let me say man is standing somewhere as he's looking at the distance, maybe he's seeing a girl, let me use a girl, figurative girl. Now, listen to me. A man is standing at the other side and he's looking far. He's seeing a girl, maybe the girl is doing somehow, you know, playing and all that. And the man is just laughing. People are looking at the man. The man is laughing, but they don't understand why he's laughing. He's just have because somebody is looking at somewhere. You are not seeing it. But now, there's something that he's seeing. You are seeing that and you are happy. You are excited. You know, this is, he's just excited. He's not, he's not feeling bad. You look at the man. Maybe he doesn't have money. He talks big. He talks about, you know, things. He acting in everything. He comes, he drives Keke. Even when the Keke comes, he just take pay money. And the Keke will say, ah, this is keep the change. He's just doing, he's acting it. Why? Because of his vision. He's so happy. You are not seeing it. There's no reflection of it. Now, let me tell you about a vision about my father in the, in the faith, my mentor. Bishop of the Oedipal, when he was talking about when they were, you know, when the church was just four, three people and all that, he said he was excited, he's so happy, and at times he would be talking and shouting, and they were like, he said, we are, I'm talking to crowds that you cannot see. And he goes, the man is here, he's laughing, he's happy, but people are not seeing, these are visionaries, they, they, they always get excited. You always have, because you know what you are seeing and you are living in the reality of it now, but people cannot see it. Hey God, Holy Spirit, help me. Now, people cannot see it, but you are seeing it. It is when the whole thing manifests, they will say, oh, it's people will not say, oh, look at why he's happy. Also, you don't need to get to that vision before you are happy. By reason of what you see, you have seen the vision, that's the vision for your life, and you are living in the reality of it now, even when it's not showing. If you have read the mandate, you can understand how visionaries think. When the church was for this, he said, he's so happy, he's so excited. Why is he happy? I'm telling you about a man staying in a place and he's seeing a girl, I'm just using a figurative girl, you know, dancing. And the man is happy. He's just happy. And people are looking, why are you happy? You don't even look like it. You're just happy. You do him anything. He's just going where he's going. His things lost. He will talk about when he lost his things in the airport. When he, he's, he's not, he doesn't feel it. Because what happened is that those things doesn't matter. What is exciting him? His vision. Don't come here to disturb me because this is where I'm. So he's not competing with anybody. When people come, he said that when someone said that they want to, you know, set up a church and very close, he said he paid for the land. I said, they don't compete with anybody. They don't see anybody as competitors. You are complimenting him. That's the life of a visionary. Very few. I want you to get this. You know, majority are saying that visions is what you, you know, a vision, uh, you know, you know, they say it's a vision is what you, they will be in the future, but it is in the now. There is no future. Have you gone to a restaurant where they say there is no credit come tomorrow, right? And you go back the following day, it's still, there's no credit. Come tomorrow. You go back next week, there's no credit. Come tomorrow. Listen, there's no tomorrow. It doesn't exist. Hmm. You know, where is tomorrow? It doesn't exist. If you are looking at, you have a vision and you say it's tomorrow is an illusion. There is no, you don't have a vision. <laughs> tomorrow doesn't exist. Forget it. It's now. Vision is what you are now, 
by reason of what you see. I'm giving you a different version of vision. I've read so many books about vision. Come on. Because I heard about vision in life, I need to be, you know, be a visionary. And I've read and read. I got more confused until I understand that life does not reward you according to your effort, but according to your definition. I begin to look for the statutory meaning of vision. And I begin to check men that are visionaries. I say, wow, how many people are missing this thing? Wow. I begin to check the life of my mentor, father in the faith. So you, I say, who? Oh, I begin to trace from beginning the story. I begin to look, I look at, I begin to search for men, visionaries. I begin to look and said, okay, okay, this is this. this. So it begins to make sense to me. When you get this, eh, any goal you set, you meet it. <laughs> A vision that resides in the future is an illusion. It will never see the light of the day. Write it down. A vision that resides in the future is an illusion. It will never see the light of the day. And you need this. It's a primary requirement for setting goals. And yet many don't have it. Many don't understand it. They are still looking at the future. They are still looking. And future does not exist. Come tomorrow. Where is tomorrow now? You go to the restaurant today. They say no credit today. Come tomorrow. Every day that thing is still there. So there's no tomorrow. There's no future. It doesn't exist. They've been deceiving you in Nigeria. Saying you are the leaders of tomorrow. Omo, there's no tomorrow. <laughs> you can't. Ah. You know, people see visionaries as arrogant. They talk big. They do this. They see it as, as you know, as an arrogant people. You know, my friend base said that sometimes one person, they don't have money, but somebody said, pray for me and I'll give you money. He said, if you look properly, you know that I'm richer than you. That's visionary stuff. He doesn't have the money. But you don't have to come and insult him because of money. So people see visionaries as arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let me tell you one thing. Until you live in your vision now, you can't reflect it. It's not possible. I want to get to a certain point in this lesson, in this foundational lesson today. Because tomorrow we'll, we'll set goals. Then next tomorrow, we'll wrap it up. By his grace, I believe the three days will be fine. But this foundation is important. If I go on how to set goals, many of you set a lot of goals, but you don't understand whether you are setting a goal or and it becomes a problem because you don't understand what you are really doing. You are getting more confused because you don't know where you are going. You know, some people said, you know, I made money last time, you know, economy is bad now and all that. You know, ah, five years ago, ah, I made money. Eh? I, I did this and all. It's just an economy. Listen to me. Anything that manifests that did not come from within is a visitor. You didn't know how it comes. Any result that you cannot repeat, you borrow the first one. You don't get, you don't have vision. Visionaries don't, no matter what the economy situation, economy has never been good or bad. Some people are still living large, right? Things are still happening. So it's not about the economy, forget about it. You know, along the way of your vision, not that you not meet obstacles, you meet obstacles, you meet challenges, you meet so many things that will begin to challenge your purpose, but you will scare through because of your vision. You scare through. Challenges of life will come. I didn't say if you have vision that you don't have. I want you to know that you have to be stubborn about your vision, but be flexible in your approach. Okay, let me look at time. Because of our time, let me explain to you now. 
about God. God has a vision for man. And that vision is to duplicate himself on the earth. And the goal is for man to continue creation so that we start creating. But God, did God fail? The vision is still there, but the approach he used didn't work. He changed the approach, but he's still stubborn on his vision, which is to duplicate himself on the earth so that creation can continue. So when the first man failed, which is Adam, that's why he said, okay, mistakenly, I just send this man on this earth. The man just woke up, have his pack and every other thing. It didn't work for it. He just started living and all that. And then the next thing, he just woke up, see Tiaroba wife behind him. He didn't work. He didn't even stress him, himself to look for a wife. He didn't do anything. He just saw it. So the man failed. But now he decided to make sure that he will still make sure that men. Yes, he, he regretted. He said, I regretted creating man. That's, that's just like him looking at it. Okay, wow. I wanted to duplicate myself on the earth. But I regretted going this way. So let me use the other way. He now create another place so that people can now be going to, coming out. They will not be coming out like woke up and become half six pack or whatever. He now started to go through another way. But what has happened? He has duplicated himself. He said, yeah, God, that's the vision. But the creation has continued. People have created planes. People have created, you know, so many skyscrapers. So many inventions have come. God will not come to do that. That's his vision for man. And we are still dominating. He said, let's create man in our own image. So they will dominate and replenish. So now the vision is to duplicate himself on the earth so that creation can continue. If you understand that his approach was wrong, it was not right. He not changed the approach. He's still stubborn on his vision. But, you know, people, we need to learn. Let me tell you, if you know your vision and you are in next gen, or you, if I, I always tell people, if I want to do any business, I will, I always will look at where I'm going. If that business can give, is taking me there. If I'm not going to get that fulfillment in that business, I leave. I don't just do anything. But when I see that this is okay for me, I stay put. If it's not okay, if I don't do it, you know that I'm not doing it. It's not, it's not where I'm going. You need to know that from the beginning before you start setting goal in a business. Now, have you set goal to achieve in a company and then that company fold up, you didn't achieve the goal. Like you said for yourself. But your vision is still intact. You are stubborn on your vision. Use that as an approach, but it didn't go. That's why we set up all the things. You are doing everything we do in life is deliberate. The companies you build, everything you do is all about roving around your vision. You are stubborn about it. Your approach can be different, but you, you can use this place to go. You are going this way. It doesn't, you change direction to this one. But when you get what you want, you stick with it. But you need to understand your vision first or else everywhere will look like it. Are you getting? Now, because of our time, I want to teach us what I call the mystery of goal setting. There is two words there. I will, I'm starting this tomorrow. The two words there is mystery and then goal. So you need to understand what is mystery and then what is goal. Because you now understood that you need to have vision for your life. Not vision for your company. You set up company, you get vision. But you as a person, you don't have one. Now, don't just go and copy any vision and be it. You need to better that vision. You need to understand it. Then we go into the mystery of goal setting. Now, can anybody tell me what is the meaning of mystery? Remember I said, 
who life does not reward you according to your effort. It's according to your definition. Anything you cannot define, you cannot in any way manifest. If you can't define anything properly, in the statutory standpoint, anything I want to do, I define it. I will get the definition, statutory definition, not functional. We have two kind of definition, functional definition and statutory definition. Now, you know, functional definition is a definition that you define based on what you think it is, based on what the use. But statutory, that's functional definition based on the function, based on this, that's why. But the main definition that will take you to the next is the statutory point, the one. You define it for what it is. Is there anybody that, what is mystery, please? Anybody? We have a few minutes. Thank you all for staying. We have a few minutes to close. At least tomorrow I've laid the foundation and I don't want to, you know, to now bore you with so many. The foundation is laid. Maybe one of these days we we'll have time to go more into the vision so that you can create a vision for your life. But what I've said now, you can do that. Something not understood or beyond understanding. Hmm. Yeah, that's the functional, functional definition. And that's good, but that's the functional definition. I need the statutory definition. I need the statutory definition. So mystery. Mystery. We are going to define two things now. Okay, if we don't, maybe tomorrow we'll define. We can, well, let's define mystery, then we'll define goal tomorrow. And then we we'll set it up. So now, can anybody help us? The mystery. What is mystery? What is mystery? Anybody, please? Okay, now. Let me go. If it's a life class. We'll go through it because I, if, why I do all this is to make sure you are following and to make sure that you understand what we're doing. Because if you don't get this foundation, forget about the goal setting aspect. If you didn't get this foundation, the goal setting aspect will not work. How many goals have you set before that never come materialize? The reason is you didn't get the foundation right. So now when it comes to mystery now, when you look at mystery, mystery in one way, okay, let me illustrate it now. Maybe if I call somebody who is a doctor to come and tell me the process of, you know, who is a, maybe let me a gynecologist, come and tell me the process of going to CS of anyone, he can explain it properly. Well, but if I now call him, and when I call somebody who is an engineer to come and explain Sicilian session, it's mystery to that person. He don't understand it. But if I even call the doctor that explained the process of Sicilian session to come and explain how to, you know, maybe an architect or maybe a building, talk about how to construct it and all that, it's mystery to him. He cannot explain it. So mystery is something you do not understand. That's a mystery to you. Put, the, put it to you. Something you don't understand is mystery to you. It may not be mystery to another person because the person know it. But if you don't know it, it's a mystery to you. Are you getting it? All you just have to do is something you don't know, you find someone who know it, and if that person explain it to you and you understand it, then you now know it. It's no more a mystery to you, but it's a mystery to the person who don't know. So what we are going to deal on, on this topic is what you don't understand about goal setting. That's what we'll do. I've laid the foundation on how to show you what you don't understand about goal setting. And I've shown you one today. 
about vision. That is the fundamental requirement for setting goals. If you don't have it, everywhere will look like it. You don't even have reason to even meet up your goals. Why are you meeting up the goal? When you don't even have a vision, you don't have a purpose. How can you improve your life when you don't have reasons to? You don't know your purpose. You don't know your vision. So your vision, you're, you just come into next gen because you want to make money. No. There are many ways to make money. So why are you in next gen? So you need to understand it. So you can set goals when the obstacles come, when things begin to run in another form, you are moving forward. Your goals is keeping you and you are moving, you are going and going there. So the next thing that we need to define is goal. As I close, the thing is, what is goal? We have three minutes to close. I'm going to define goal for you, but before then, is there anybody that can tell me what is goal based on what you understand so that I can define it and then we'll close for today. Then tomorrow, we'll start from here that we'll stop and start talking about goals. There are different kinds of goals you need to set and then we we'll begin to set financial goals, your spiritual goals, you set up your goals for next gen, you set up these, but we're going to focus more next gen and financial goals, but you can set up other goals by yourself, self-development goals. You set up things that you want to do on different aspects so that you make 2023 your best year ever. What do you understand about goal? What is goal? Anybody? Okay, I've seen somebody. Definition goals are those things you do to complement your vision. <laughs> okay, I like this. I like this. I like this. I like this. Yeah, that means you've been listening. But yes, it complements it. That's, that's the, the functional definition of goal. You try. You try. The functional aspect. I need the statutory definition of goal. I need the statutory definition. Okay, now, because of our time, but I like that. That was good. That was good. Functional, that's a good definition. But statutory standpoint, no. All right, now, let me define goal for us as we close. Goals are the thought processes and the physical activities that you engage in so as to increase your self-worth to produce values that supersedes your target. Goals are the thought processes and the physical activities that you engage in so as to increase your self-worth to produce values that supersedes your target. This is where we draw the curtain close today. I've laid the foundation. You are in for something. When we are done, you will not know, oh, 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 this is the reason. If you don't get it yet, forget it. I wish this is a life class, but unfortunately it's not. But it's okay. We'll find a way. I just want you to make sure that you make 2023 your best year. So tomorrow, we are going to start from here. In order to make sure we start understanding goals, why is it this way, what we need to do, how we need to go about it. So you can set goals for your life, not only next gen, everything about you. I am not telling you this so that you can set goals only on next gen. You can set goals on your life. You can start going on the path that is right so that nothing on earth 
get you angry because of your vision. No, 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 no. Anybody that wants to do like is competing with you, you don't, we are not competing. So you don't understand. You don't see anybody as competitor. You see people as those who compliment you. I thank you all for being part of this today. And I know that you are going to do something great with this. I want to stop here and I hand this over to Abby FS to close us. Thank you and God bless you.